Tarek Hatri of Clear Trip in the WAMDA booth at ArabNet. Tarek, how are you? I'm very good, thank you very much. How have you enjoyed the event so far? So we've, we've been very, very excited about coming out here for the first time and what we've seen and what's happening out here in the Middle East is really exciting for us and we're looking forward to participating more in these kind of events while we are in the Middle East. So your, your company was originally founded in India and you're right. now expanding to the Middle East. Right. Talk to me about that process. How have you localized the site for this region? So I think one thing which is very important when you get into something like a personalized product that you buy for yourself, which is travel, you need to make it very, very localized for people out here so that they can find it relevant for their needs. It, it cannot be something that you're selling which is completely alien to what they want to buy. And uh, it begins with small, small things. You know, For example, typically you have a lot of websites out here which offer you a, a pricing in the local currency of where that, that site was from. And typically you see a lot of dollar sites out here. You know, what we did is the first thing is we customized the payment option for the customers so that they are able to pay it in their local currencies. So today we are present in five countries. So if you go to a site in UAE, which is cleartip.ae, you can pay your travel products in their homes, which makes it very easy for a customer to make the payments because they can now not worry about the conversion charges that are going to be hit to them on their credit cards. So that is the first thing. Second is when it comes to travel content, travel content is very, very point of sale originated. So a pricing that an airline files for a fare out of India is very different than what they file for a fare out of UAE. So if you are buying a ticket for Dubai to London, and if you buy it from Dubai, the pricing will be different than the same route that you buy it from, let's say, you know, from Oman, and you buy a Dubai-London flight from Oman, the pricing out there might be different also. So the airlines follow something called as point of sale pricing, and it differs from market to market. So what we were able to do is we were able to customize a point of sale by that market, which means a person in UAE gets to see the UAE point of sale, which means he gets the benefit of the local offers, the local deals, and any kind of seasonality that impacts that airline from that market. And when they come up with any kind of special fares, any kind of special offers, it automatically gets reflected on the clear tip side. So you never are away from the deal that is being offered in that market. So with that, we also looked at from a servicing point of view because uh, servicing is very important. And we introduced a 24-7 customer service sale out here, which has multilingual support, which is English and Arabic. So a customer out here can now also call up the call center and speak in Arabic to a customer service agent who will make him feel comfortable at the same time assist him with uh, his requirements. The other thing that we found out that people also are a little apprehensive about using cards or you know, they don't want to use cards or maybe they don't have enough credit limits available on their cards. So we introduced what we call it as pay by cash where we tied up with UAE Exchange in the UAE where you can make a booking, hold a booking for a time limit and you can go and make a payment at any of the UAE Exchange outlets and once you make the payment, we make the ticket and send it across to you. Which means you also have the ability to pay by cash. Great, and what percentage of your customers actually pay by cash versus credit card? How have you seen that break down since you've entered the UAE? So I think uh, when we started off, uh, again, when you look at how the, uh, the market was reacting to credit cards and saying that you know, people out here are not very comfortable using credit cards, and which is why we started looking at all the other options of you know, providing alternate mode of payment. But what surprised us is that it is absolutely you know, very clear that credit cards are the largest mode of payment for people in this market and even today close to 90 percent of the bookings that happen on our site are using these card instruments the only disadvantage that uh, uae has at this point of time is that all the debit card bins have not been open for online transactions which means if you have a debit card all banks will not allow you to purchase something on uh, an e-commerce site and but this is changing a lot of uh, banks are opening up their debit card bins for uh, online transactions and I think once that happens which is scheduled to happen somewhere in the end of 2012 and the same thing is being worked upon in Saudi Arabia at this point of time where a lot of banks are working closely with both the schemes master and visa to activate their debit cards for e-commerce once that happens I think it will be a big tipping point for e-commerce transactions that happen in this region I look forward to seeing whether that happens or not. 
hopefully they will make progress on that front. We're hoping that. It seems very promising it. because uh, two banks in, in UAE have already rolled it out and uh, two more are planning to do it in, in the next two months. Great. And how do you differentiate yourself from competitors that have emerged locally like Travel Sheikh and Pujazat? Has it been difficult for you to rebrand yourself from being an Indian company to looking more local? How do you tackle that? So I think when you look at the name Clear Trip, you know, it's not an Indian sounding name in the first place. You know, it's a very, very universal and uh, a very common name in that sense. So I don't think we had the problem of you know people, in fact, our issue was more of people not knowing about us. It was about visibility. And uh, we never positioned ourselves as a brand from India that has come into the Middle East. We started off our positioning as we are for the Middle East and we have bought this product for the Middle East. Now it doesn't really matter where my technology team sits or you know, where my customer service team sits. So long as I'm able to offer you what you want. And when I look at differentiation, I think one of the biggest differentiation is that we offer airlines and hotels which is our two biggest products that we sell on our site. We have a very, very clean and clutter-free interface. You know, we focus on simplicity of making sure that a customer, when he comes in, is able to complete his transaction in a very minimalistic, intrusive manner, which means we don't bring out any pop-up ads, you won't see any banners on our site, you won't see any flash images on our site. It is a very clean, clutter-free environment which also means when people look at us, they see this as non no nonsense site. You know, they see that these guys are serious, they mean business, and there is always a deal on the site at any given point of time. So you get a great environment to make your bookings, you always get a deal. And when it comes to content, we are possibly the only website in the region who has majority of the low cost carriers on our site. Now, if you look at low cost carriers, they operate on a different platform. So a typical airline gets distributed through the GDS, which is the global distribution systems, the low-cost carriers operate on their independent platforms, and none of them are same. So a Fly Dubai has a different platform, a NAS Air has a different platform, and so does Bahrain Air. So we have integrated with each of these platforms to be able to provide that content to people. And what we've seen, the more low-cost carriers coming in, in the market, and the more we've started showing them, the share of low-cost carriers has started growing on our side. So today, close to around 25% of what we sell on airlines is low-cost carriers. And you're the only site that's offering these low-cost carriers? Absolutely. At this point of time, we're the only ones. In fact, uh, we have close to 90 low-cost carriers on our site across the world, which includes EasyJet, which includes uh, you know, airlines in, in Southeast Asia, in Asia, as well as Middle East. And how are you facilitating um, just you know purchasing using the website? Do you have mobile apps? What's your policy on that? Okay, so I think uh, on the mobile, we've been working very, very hard on that for the last two years. And we launched our first mobile product uh, in 2011. And uh, one of the focus of our entire mobile approach was that, should we go for an app or should we go for a site? And uh, eventually, we decided to go in for a fully blown HTML5 site which basically works on all phones and all browsers. So the whole idea about creating apps for different platforms, maintaining them, was removed from our booking process, uh, from our development process, which means we could keep on bringing in new features and add more features to it without having to worry about maintaining different platforms. So this HTML5 is a, is a very, very efficient way of you know, doing your uh, travel bookings on, on, on the site. It also has a feature of express checkout, which means you can store the details of passengers and credit cards on your phone browser. And when you want to make bookings, it's actually a three-step booking process. You search, you select, and you just say book. It doesn't ask you for anything more. It picks up everything from the system, including your frequent flyer number, including your credit card, and your booking goes through. And uh, it has been awarded as uh, the best mobile travel site in Asia in, in December 2011. And uh, we've been receiving a lot of good reviews about it. And India, the adoption has been phenomenal. We've seen close to 1,000 transactions a day happening on our mobile site. And we're launching our mobile site in Middle East uh, in the month of April, where we expect to you know, get this uh, entire thing communicated across to various channels. Well, keep us posted on the launch of your mobile app. Yeah, will do. Thanks for chatting with us in the Wanda Studio. Thank you very much for having me out.